Welcome to Useful Words. Hi, thanks for being here. Today we're going to share the law of leisure. What is the law of leisure? Why the law of leisure is important? How the law of attraction relates to law of leisure? How to make the most of your free time? And how to use your time wisely? We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but it's how we use those hours that makes all the difference. That's why I want to talk about the law of leisure, which is all about using your time wisely to become a better person. No one can deny that we live in a fast paced world. It seems like there's always something else we need to be doing. And as a result, we always find ourselves rushed and stressed out. But what if I told you there's a way to slow down and enjoy life more? Enter the Law of Leisure. The Law of Leisure is all about using your time wisely to improve yourself. It's about taking the time to learn new things, focusing on your personal growth, and investing in your relationships. When you take the time to do these things, you'll find that your life is more fulfilling and enjoyable. And isn't that what we all want? Let's go in deeper. What is the law of leisure? The law of leisure is the idea that you should use your free time to do the things that are enjoyable and enriching, rather than wasting it on activities that don't add value to your life. It's about using your time wisely so that you can look back on your life with no regrets. The law of leisure is a simple but powerful concept that can help you make the most of your free time. It states that the best way to use your leisure time is to do something that is enjoyable and satisfying. In other words, don't waste your time on activities that don't bring you joy. Instead, use your leisure time to do things that you love. This could include hobbies, creative pursuits, or simply spending time with loved ones. By following the law of leisure, you can ensure that your leisure time is well spent and enriching. Doing things that you enjoy will not only make you happier, but it will also give you a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. So the next time you find yourself with some free time, be sure to ask yourself, what would make you happy? Chances are, the answers will lead you to activities that is well worth your while. Why is the law of leisure important? Free time is a precious commodity, and it's important to use it in a way that will improve your life. Spending your leisure time wisely can help you reduce stress, increase productivity, and boost your overall quality of life. How can you use the law of leisure to improve your life? Here are some suggestions for ways you can use your free time wisely. Read books that inspire or educate you. Take up a new hobby that brings you joy. Spend time outdoors in nature. Volunteer for a cause you're passionate about. Pursue a side hustle or passion project. Spend quality time with loved ones. Invest in your personal development. Take care of your physical health with exercise and healthy eating habits. Get rid of anything in your life that doesn't bring you happiness or isn't serving a purpose. Use your free time wisely and you'll start seeing positive changes in every area of your life. How would you use your free time today? If you need some inspiration, remember the law of leisure. And use it to guide you towards living your best life. How the Law of Attraction Relates to Leisure Time One of the laws of the universe is the Law of Attraction, which essentially states that what we focus on expands. So if we focus on negative things, we will attract more negativity into our lives. Alternatively, if we focus on positive things, we will attract more positivity. This law also applies to our leisure time and how we choose to spend it. Say for example, that you love going out dancing with your friends on Saturday nights. Every time you go out dancing, 
you have a great time. You laugh, you meet new people, and you feel good about yourself. As a result, you keep going out dancing because it makes you happy. This is the law of attraction at work. On the other hand, let's say you don't like going out dancing because you feel self-conscious. You're not good at it. So, every time you go out dancing, you have a terrible time. You stand in the corner by yourself feeling awkward and out of place. As a result, you stop going out dancing because it doesn't make you happy. Again, this is the law of attraction at work. How do you use the law of attraction to your advantage? Now that you know how the law of attraction works, let's talk about how we can use it to our advantage. First and foremost, it's important to be aware of what we're focusing on during our leisure time. If we're focused on unproductive activities such as watching TV or browsing social media mindlessly, then we'll attract more unproductive activities into our lives. However, if we are focused on productive activities such as reading, working out, then we will attract more productive activities into our lives. It's also important to be mindful of how we're feeling when we're engaging in our leisure activities. If we're feeling stressed or anxious, then chances are those feelings will only intensify as a result of our leisure activity. However, if you're feeling relaxed and at peace, then chances are those feelings will also intensify as a result of our leisure activity. In short, our leisure time should be used as a way to recharge and rejuvenate ourselves so that we can be our best when we return to our everyday lives. The bottom line is this, how we choose to spend our leisure time matters. It matters because it affects how we feel both during and after the activities. It matters because it attracts more of the same into our lives. So the next time you find yourself with some free time on hand, ask yourself, how can you use that time in a way that will make you feel good both in the moment and in the long run. Trust me, your future self will thank you for it. How to make the most of your free time. If you're always feeling like you don't have enough time, it's time to start using your leisure time more efficiently. Implementing the law of leisure can help you make the most of your free time so that you can accomplish your goals and live your fullest life. So what can you do to make sure that you're making the most of your leisure time? Here are a few suggestions. Pick up a new hobby. Learning how to do something new can be both fun and rewarding. It can also help you meet new people and build new skills. Not sure where to start? Check out the many channels on YouTube for hobbies and ideas. Travel. Seeing new places and experiencing new cultures is one of the best ways to broaden your horizon. You don't have to travel far or spend a lot of money to reap the benefits either. Even taking a day trip somewhere new can be eye-opening. Volunteer! Giving back to your community is a great way to make use of your free time. Not only will you be helping others, but you also likely learn new skills and gain valuable experiences in the process. Spend time with family and friends. Relationships are crucial for our mental and emotional health. So make sure to schedule some quality time with loved ones on a regular basis. Do something productive with your leisure time. Find a hobby that aligns with your interests and values. Use your leisure time to connect with family and friends. Spend your leisure time doing something that makes you happy. Make sure to schedule some downtime into your day. Use your leisure time to learn something new. Use your leisure time to get ahead in your work or school project. Use your leisure time to be active and get exercise. Get rid of distractions during your leisure time so that you can focus on what's important to you. Make sure you're taking breaks throughout the day so you can refuel and recharge. Making the most of your leisure time is essential for living a happy and fulfilling life. By following these suggestions, 
you can make sure that you're using your free times in ways that are both enjoyable and beneficial for your overall well-being. The Law of Leisure is all about using your free time wisely so that you can accomplish more and live a fuller life. If you're looking for ways to make the most of your free time, try implementing some of the suggestions above. You may be surprised of how much more you can get done when you use your free time wisely. How to use your time wisely. In today's world, it seems like there's never enough time. We're always rushing from one thing to the next, and we never seem to have a moment to ourselves. But what if I told you that there is a way to use your time wisely, so that you can become a better you? That way is called the Law of Leisure. The Law of Leisure is all about using your time wisely. It's about taking the time to do things that are important to you, and that will help you grow as a person. It's not about wasting time on things that don't matter or that don't bring any joy to you. So how can you start using the law of leisure in your life? Here are some more suggestions to help you make sure that you're using your free time and living your best life. Number one, set priorities and stick to them. One of the reasons why people never seem to have enough free time is because they don't know how to set priorities. It's easy to fill up your schedule with things that are fun in the moment, but don't necessarily add value to your life in the long run. If you want to make the most of your free time, figure out what your priorities are and stick to them. For example, if your priority is spending more time with family, make sure you're not overscheduling yourself with work and social obligations. Number two, schedule leisure time into your week. Another reason why people never seem to have enough free time is because they don't schedule it into their week. Just like you would schedule a meeting or a doctor's appointment, schedule leisure activity into your week so that you actually make time for them. This can be something as simple as taking a walk or reading a book for 30 minutes every day. Number three, learn to say no. One of the hardest things is for people to say no. But it's also one of the most important things if you want to make the most of your free time. There will always be people and obligations vying for your attention, but you need to learn how to set boundaries so that you can focus on what's important to you. Number four, simplify your life. Another way to make the most of your free time is to by simplifying your life so that you have less things vying for your attention. This can mean decluttering your home unsubscribing from unnecessary emails or streamlining your wardrobe so that getting ready in the morning is easier. By simplifying different areas of your life, you can free up more time and energy to focus on the things that matter most to you. Set aside each time each day for leisure activities. Make sure that your leisure activities are things that you enjoy and make you happy. Use your leisure time to learn new skills or improve upon existing ones. No matter what route you choose, using your leisure time wisely will benefit you greatly. The law of leisure is all about using your time wisely so that you can become a better person. By following the suggestions of set aside some time each day for leisure activities, make sure those activities are things that bring you joy and use your leisure time wisely by learning new skills or improving upon existing ones, you can start using the law of leisure into your life today. I hope this convinced you of the importance of the law of leisure. I urge you to start using your time wisely. Trust me, it will make all the difference. I'm Leroy Glover. And I thank you.